at this moment in time, given what we call other than a mental a mental communication. Is he? Is he? Can you pick up whether it's just he comes in, he visits, or whether he's actually here all the time? I believe that this soul is here all the time. Right. I don't think it's just a visitation. So he's grounded then. Yes. Why? Because um, he he wishes to be. I don't feel that he's done, and you know his his history of himself going way back in time, that he's done anything despicable. Mm. I just feel that he, um, hopefully we can establish later on in mm. the investigation, that it, it's so important that this man has got such a bond, such a strength to the beginnings of this property going way back. Right. A very good, proud man. Um, and a man that stood for justice, mm -hmm. um, and justice even to his like last days on the physical earth. And maybe as we go further on, yeah. maybe then we can link it a bit more. Me? Can we? Yeah, because yeah. it's like as if I'm, I'm drawn here. And as we're walking along now into this area, um, I, I, I just want to say I'm drawn so much so up there, up this up the stairwell. Mm -hmm. um, and I want to say, there's also the essence, again, of walking these stairs, not with this person who I've just tried to link with, but a separate spirit person, a separate spirit entity. He is... Pardon? Male or female? Most definitely a male. A man that really basically would shimmy, if not walk, but this, like, shimmying um, and covered up, and covered up in, like... Um, gown covering mm -hmm. and it's like he makes his way um, into this area and it's a physical bathroom however as I come down if I may mm -hmm. and look into this aperture here all oh, his energies in there now this is an area for him where he gains his energies and what have you is he uh, here all the time or is uh, he just visiting no I feel he is resident he's a good soul I'm getting a full gown and a covering up uh, of myself and also, to a degree, a meditation, a prayer state um, of thought that comes, boom, to the forefront of my mind. Oh, there's two of them. There's two of them. Yes. Come on, come on. I've got, there's two monks here. There's two of them. The brothers, not brothers physically. There's two monks. Mm. They go in here. And the mentality that one relies on the other more than the other. Um, they used to, they go away from this beautiful, beautiful home. They go away for some reason. They go across the water, across the water, and they come in. And it's like, as if at times they're not in prayer state. They're sitting, they're resting, they're resting. One of them, the energy is wanting to communicate. Thank you, Sam. Wants to communicate. Right. So, um, as we go through yeah. this evening, he will do this. Unbeknownst to Derek, he was about to experience a first in his mediumship. And unbeknownst to Fred, his reason for living at the clock house was about to be revealed. <laughs> hole in the bathroom confirmed to us that priests did spend time in the manor but we needed to know who they were the two of them that are coming in very lovely yeah. souls and they lived their lives and they left their lives through natural the physical lives through natural means they were not so what's what's can you find out what the connection thomas. is thomas thomas okay that's one of them's name yes He's the leader out of the two, the stronger of the two. The other one relied on him because he was very um, timid. Um, uh, Thomas was the strong one. This one here, who comes here, is totally different than the two monks. This one who pushes this door open, has, tries to have a good laugh, if I may say. And he does this, you see. And he does that. He makes certain he does that noise. It's like he turns it. And then he brings it back. And I'm taking the place of his hand, his spirit hand. And that's how he does it. 
and it does it from the outside. Why would he, why would he continually do that? Because he wants to draw attention that he's here in the atmosphere. Fred, is that right? It's yeah, I've had a builder working in here and the door keeps opening when he's inside. He's shut the door properly. Yes, yeah, see, when he's in the inside. The normal knob, you know, it closes and you have to turn it to open it and it's open so many times. That's and interesting. Yeah. This is what he does from the outside and someone said very quickly to me from the right hand side, William. 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 And is this the man that opens yeah, and closes yeah. the door? Yeah, William. William, it's like three names. William something, full name. He comes in, he also does, if I just open this again, there's also these windows here. Mm -hmm. And would cause probably noises and sensation towards the window. He's not, in actual fact, meaning any harm the soul mm. it's just wanting to draw attention so he's obviously he's got some sort of connection with the house very but much we need so to know what back. it is what this william did he live here did he work here what was his connection? can i just say these words yeah. because I, it's been biting me all yeah. evening have you if i can quote this and it's most important more important than anything mm -hmm. else i feel is the lovely gentleman here fred okay the mm -hmm. owner of this mm -hmm. building okay and i'll make the quote this man has come back. This man belonged. This man still belongs. And the people and the souls that are here are so, so happy that this man, okay, is now the proud owner. And they're so happy he's doing what he's doing in restoration and what have you. And they're backing him all the way. This man is reincarnated from a time he owned and belonged here. That's what I felt. Because you said to me that you mm. just felt you had to have yeah. this house. I mean, recognition of reincarnation. Yeah. I'm actually experiencing it with us all tonight. Yeah. Here we are. There's also a lady comes here. She's not present all the time. Do you want to walk further? Can we? Yeah, go on. Oh, wow. This is now. Oh, I want to come in here. I want. Yes. Oh, yes! Look at the drawer of this! <laughs> There's a lady. She belongs, I'm getting the name Elizabeth. Elizabeth, that was one of her names. I feel it was her first name. I also want to say, if I, that door, if I, that aperture, if I was to open that up and go, bump, 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 and take this on another floor and go up, and I want to say, the energy, when she tries her best, she loves this area, but it seems she loves the higher level that's now not longer here. It was like as if she was left. Her partner was slain. He didn't come back. And she comes through into this atmosphere time and time again. And it's like as if she's a lost soul. She's a good soul, though. And it's as if she's never, ever actually reunited with her loved one, her partner. How um, old would you say? Oh, gosh. As she's shown herself there, I would say probably no older than in her thirties mm. a, a young woman now what she does she walks across from the door well and it's as if like she's floating in actual fact but she's not it's on this level away from this floor she comes to this here the energy would shift one or two or three implements here swords and what have you she feels happy here but she fit because she's had a history here but she feels lost because she's not reunited with her loved one who is only there it goes. what oh wow right the cross was i don't know if anyone can see it is emblazoned there now mm. so it's something significant um in time with this here and the symbol this lady and the cross it goes back to this era this time. Mm -hmm. um, who? Yes. Can I just say, I want to leave this lovely area here yeah. and just go a little bit further up the passage. Yeah, right? cool. Now, as we come into the, the peacefulness and the serenity of this area, of this room, um, uh, I'm getting a confliction if that's the right word a confliction of mind of thought is stress and we could say that kiddies mm. and what have you but no no not so because here 